and then go to comments up here. Okay, now I go to this. And now you have to refresh your page. Yes. And then you have to go to live chat. Yep. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. So we're going to get underway in just a second. Uh, she's registered. So they can give her a wrench. Hi, Nikki. Yeah, we're giving you a wrench right now. Hey, everybody. We're running a couple seconds late. Hi, CNA. Hey, Jim. Hi, Carl. So we are back. Pam and I are here. Look, we already got a nifty thumbs down. We haven't even started the video yet. Hey, Chris Chatworth. Oh, it's because Chris is here. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> he did his part. Hey, Harold. Hi, everybody. Sorry we missed uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. We were actually here on Wednesday, but we had 120-some packages for eBay, and then we started getting shipping out from last week, and I didn't want everybody to buy more stuff until after we had their stuff on the way to them. So now you guys have plenty of stuff coming your way. Why is my... That was weird. Okay, if you guys hear any background noise, it'll be Kim still packing some orders from the wholesale deals that we offered out and everything else. Pam is here with AJ. both legs. AJ, I'm good. I'm, I'm okay. Actually, really better than I thought I'd be. <laughs> hey, Mark. Hi, Frank. Hi, Mark. Welcome from Mexico. So for anybody else out there lurking, and you want to participate in the auctions, make sure you follow the little, the little yellow banner going across the bottom of your screen. Send me a registration. If you have sent a registration, just comment in the chat that you sent one. We have toys today and some Pokemon cards. And I bought some really good baseball stuff if we get some people in for really vintage early baseball. I've got a group of postcards. Um, we have some photo albums, all kinds of neat stuff, <clears throat> and we're just letting the room populate because we weren't on for a couple of days, so I figured it'll take a little bit of extra time to get us up and running today. <laughs> Hi, Connie M. Hi, Zelda. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Kathy Bauer. We're going to have some uh, photo albums today and other really cool stuff i have some really awesome things actually you know what we're gonna do those next we're gonna do a lot of toys first and then we will get into some of the other really neat stuff that that i have kind of all over the board today because i've got squirrel syndrome from being in the house for three or four days i have some really cool superhero knives to see how they go. Um, for our comic book guys, I have a collection out in my car that I picked up from a friend of mine that he wants me to buy, uh, but I would have to know if we have buyers for underground comics from the 60s and 70s because it's like 1500 bucks he wants me to pay for it, and that's for like 125 books. So it's a lot of money, but those comics are pretty rare. So. Okay, guys, we're going to get underway. We got at least 50 people in here. That's enough. So first lot's going to be a $20 start because it's pretty heavy. It's got die-cast cars, die-cast trucks. Shipping is included inside the United States. If you are a foreign bidder, please let us know. Uh, last week, we did have a purchase from a Canadian buyer, and they just paid the normal price. We can't ship your item. If you're in here, make sure that you message us because we have to send you a shipping invoice for the difference between American shipping and foreign shipping. Okay, first item up is a larger 1918 runabout barrel bank from Agway. This is Ertl, made by Ertl Toys. Second item 
is the Open Top Bus Company, the 1936 white model tour. So this is actually kind of neat. Die cast, open model, 1930s metal bus. That's pretty large. We have a 1950 panel truck. And let's see. I don't know who made this one. Oh, so this is CNR um, gas stations, Friendly's Market in Richland, PA. And it's a bank. That one is also by Ertl. And, and then, so that's another Ertl. Here's another smaller Ertl bank, 1994 limited edition die cast bank. There. We have a 1948 Tucker car. I believe this is a Salido. The original paperwork's in there. So pretty cool vintage car, large. And then last but not least is this giant size pedal car, die cast metal, with its limited edition certificate of authenticity right here, from Crown Premiums, 1941 Garten pedal car bank. And let's take it out and look at it. Of course, I grabbed it upside down. Why wouldn't I? But pretty neat. Check that out. This. Look, this is from the Hershey Car Show. The AACA Eastern Division Fall Meet from 1998. So it's a pedal car. It says car parts and toys. All cool stuff that you can actually find at the at that car show. I don't know where you'd put the money into that. Hmm. But very cool little pedal car. And that's what you get for a $20 start. That's there. So one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. 20 with Greg. Okay, we have Greg in at 20. Bonnie in at 22. Oki in at 25. Picking in at Picky Nicky in at 27. Picky Nicky. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit of a mouthful there. <laughs> yeah, had a mouthful since you got married. Easy in at 40. Shot! Still here, you know. She can smack you. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I get to get smacked around by two women. Carlson drink. <laughs> <laughs> See? They know this game. Whenever I say anything that has any kind of adult in the window, they take shots. <laughs> by the end of the auction, everybody's first snookered. Hi, Tamara. Hi, Tamara. Hi, Mama G. Hi, Tammy. And we are back in action. Back in action. So we're at 50 with Picky Nicky. Increments are $5 now. And then for all of our new people, increments are $2 per bid. After $50, they are $5, and after $100, they are $10 increments. Shipping is included in your order. You also do not need to send me payment after each item. I will invoice you at the end of the day or tomorrow morning for all of your wins for the day or generally for the entire week. We try to add them all together to do it one at one shot, and we actually send you the invoices. Saves you a little bit of work, keeps things a little more organized for us. J&J &J pick and flip center registration, they said. Okay, let me check. <laughs> the King of Painting has a flash, they said, ready. Huh. Good, and Mr. Buys a lot here.
Yes. J and J is good to go. Is weird. There we go. Okay, so we are at fifty dollars with Picky Nikki. Let's see, fifty-five with Greg Lusk. Pam Tamara is asking how you're doing. I'm doing really good. Much better than I thought I was today. She didn't realize that at, even at her age, she can heal so quickly. It's all that fat on my leg. She said it's all that fat. <laughs> we have Picky Nicky in at 60 on this lot. Hi, Big Sky. Hello, Hide and Seek. Uh, she, she just slipped on the ice yesterday out here at the warehouse. They hadn't salted or cleared it. I decided to lay down in the parking lot <laughs> in the snow. She was trying to pick up guys from Terminex <laughs> next door because she saw they were all outside. When she fell, none of them even came over to help her. No, we just made the plow guys come and replow. Yeah. That wasn't very nice to them. So we are at 60, looking for 65. Greg is out. Nope, nobody helped me. <laughs> okay, going twice now. As far as moderation goes, guys, Mama G and Janine and ourselves do it, and sometimes Stryker will step in and help as well. Everybody else, the wrench for you is just to let us know that you are registered and got a good plow out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely karma. <laughs> okay, I believe we're going to be sold. Sold, sold, sold to, to Nikki for $60. Congratulations. Pam is writing that down right now. So I figure out how to put this lid back on this thing. Congratulations, Nikki, on your first purchase from us. I may or may not have shopped a little bit this weekend, guys, so that stuff will be offered to you today. What I bought this weekend, we will see if we've got our sports guys in the house because I bought a really good group of 1930s sports items. Okay, there you go. Yes, definitely. Okay. I need... Oh, that's perfect. Then, yes, we can ship to your San Diego address and it's included in your bid. Okay, so next item up, I'm going to need some trays. Okay, so I know we have a lot of people who love postcards and love just like historical items. So I picked these up, and I thought they were really awesome. These, these are leather postcards. They're made out of leather. They're turn of the century, 1900 to about 1925, 1930. And as you can see, they have like little felt flowers embossed on them and then applied over top of the actual carved deco design of the leather. So they'll say greetings from, some of them have like little, like that, that pills off. It look, looks like a rubber that might have melted to the front of the postcard, but it does come off. So there's two, uh, $10 start guys, three, four. This is like, velvet almost like what's on the front of the uh the old postcard albums five six seven little holland boy and girl eight going far far away nine travel ten 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, little Holland boy, very cool, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Some people used to sew them together. That's why they're little holes. 25, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. These are awesome. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. I'm going to flip one over just so you guys can see the back of a mark postcard. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Cool blue one, 49. And 50. 50 pieces in this lot. They are beautiful. And we'll see how this does. See if we made a good buy or bad buy. Maybe this maybe that should be a video series that we do. Maybe Brian should go and buy random things and write down what I pay for them and then auction them off and start everything at like ten bucks. And we'll play win or lose. <laughs> see if I make money or if I lose money. <laughs> I think it makes awesome video content. <laughs> and it'll be fun. I like to gamble. See, now they're yelling at me, telling me to do what I already own. 60 with Glenn. Oh, wait, no, we're at 60 with Midwest. We're at 65 with Glenn. We're at 70 with Carl. Yep. Uh, you guys are doing good. If we hit $100, I'm going to have to put more stuff on the tray because I'll feel bad. <laughs> So we're at $70 for 50 cards. There's 50 of them, Greg. So far. Obviously, if the bid goes higher, there's going to be at least another 25 or so. Who knows? We know me. I like bigger lots. So we're at 75 with Glenn. Makes them about a dollar for you. And I think the, the velvet's really beautiful. That they actually apply to the leather card itself. So you can see it's applied. And it's all pressed in and embossed. I like the little girl. Especially the little girl next to her has like a witchy hat. She's got like the old doctor's bag. It's cool. So we're at 100 with Glenn. Okay. That means we got to add more to it because, well, it's just how I do things. So we're going to, we have 50 there. So it's 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 62, 63. 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86. And these are obviously hand painted onto the leather here. 87, 80, 89, 90. 91, 92. 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. How's that? 
Let me see this from Nikki. <laughs> Nikki, you know, I, I think I think we have some little diecast cars laying around. Might you might get a surprise in your box. Who knows? I don't know what all came out of the boxes that Pam opened the other day. She has toys laying everywhere. Got model kits here, weird stuff there. Yeah, this week our place is a little messy. Yeah, just a little messy. Yeah, big mess here. One pan with Greg. So there's a hundred postcards now in this lot. We've more than doubled the size of this lot. Well, one pan with Glenn. One pan with Greg. Carl is out. Carl, do you know anybody for underground comics? <laughs> so we got 130 with Greg on 100 postcards. 100 Hi, leather postcards. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Dale. You're on top of the. Okay. I'm not sure if Dom moves those or not. Yeah, I have to check and see. It's all like Robert Crumb art and stuff. I like Underground Comics, Mark Johnson. Okay. So we're at 130, looking for 140 or better. There's a, over 100. There's 100 cards. Hi, Lily. Carl would be interested. Okay. He just has to see some. He's never dealt in underground. So what I'll do is I'll bring those. Um, so for a loaner car, I check my engine. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, you don't want one of my cars. <laughs> They're work vehicles. So we're at one forty. There's a there's a hundred leather postcards here. There's three with little like Holland people or people on them. The other 97 are flowers with like hand painted stems and then felt colored felt or velvet. So we're at 150 with Greg. We're at 160 with Lily. Hey, we got Chris Chatworth here, right? Yeah, we do. That big brown box over here, the one that I brought that, that Kim put packages on top of, yeah. we can bring it and I'll cut it open on screen and I'll sell what's in it. It's got some really awesome vintage toys in it. Hey, look, Kim, I extended your packing area. That's nice. Let's keep that bin outside forever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll figure out a place for that. Hey, look, there's your mail parcel. Yeah, not in that little truck. You ain't. <laughs> <laughs> you better come back three times. Chris, we're going to do some uh, toys in a minute. Hi, Marmac. I don't remember what I bought. I just remember there's some toys in it. Sorry, guys, I'm cutting open a box right now just so I don't have to do it on screen. <laughs> sold, sold, sold to Lily for 160. Congratulations, Lily. There's that. Guys. Uh, let's do a $20 start on whatever I put on the table. Like this. The Shadow Toy Series. The Mirage SX100 car in the box. This is from Kenner from 1994. The Shadow was a great old pulp character. Like superhero-ish. Let's see. Here's the car. 
It looks to be unplayed with in pretty nice condition. Let's see if we can open it up here. There's the missile that it shoots right over there. Here's the car. And here is the extra piece there. So it never played with shadow car. Said $20 start. That is shipped. How about this? Let's add the shadow Shiwan Khan serpent bike. So he's a bad guy. Uh, is this one? No. Don't say is it factory sealed. You can obviously see the inserts here. Put the paperwork for the car up there. Don't forget the right purple lilies. Yeah, 160. This one has the instructions, and the toy has never been removed from the box. There's all the swords and everything. So very cool, because the shadow knows. What else did I buy? Ooh, we'll do that in a minute with some pinups. We got bids. We got bids. Okay, and then the last piece that we have in this lot. I'm just trying to empty this box out so I can put it on the table. Okay, the box is empty. Okay, so then the last one is the taxi cab, the Shadow Thunder cab. Let's pull it out and take a look at it. I said, I normally sometimes I wouldn't open these, but I did just buy these and they just arrived. So I wanted to make sure. Can I pull them out and make sure that they're actually the right vehicles inside? Here's the taxi. I think this slides back and then this opens up and there's the guns. And that slides forward to make it a taxi. So you get all three vehicles with their boxes for your bid. Ryan Maroney. Kim. Ryan Maroney. Both of those phrases go together. Okay. Yep. How do you say that? Uh, <laughs> Moda Vlogs. Okay. That was the one that said. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, Marmac, you're good to go. Yeah, and and Moda Vlogs, you're good to go as well. So we are giving you guys wrenches right now so you're able to bid on this awesome lot of boxed the Shadow action figure toy vehicles. And that is shipped, guys. Oh, the Gatling gun. I'm not allowed to keep toys here because I want to play with them. Oh, I know why it does that. Okay. I got it backwards. Goes like that. Like that was in at 70. There is no instruction sheet for this one. But the other two, this one's obviously never been played with, and that one, all the pieces are still sealed on the on the insert. So that one's never been played with either. What are you looking for? She has cards, but I don't know if you have a box for them.
What do you need one of these? Yep. We're here to solve problems. Okay, so we have Chris Chatworth in at 70. Thank you, Chris. Looking for 75 or better. And remember, guys, that does include the shipping of all three of these large vehicles. That is included. What did I holler at you for? I'm not putting cards in a box. No. Oh. <laughs> So we have 112 here. Thank you guys for being here. Obviously, we appreciate your time and you guys being here and hanging out with us and having a good time. Make sure you guys have shots lined up. So we're at $70 with Chris Chatworth on these three vehicles. I'm going to start putting these vehicles back in the box just so that we can clear the space. While you guys are doing a countdown, the boxes are actually really in really, really nice condition. We're being, what is that, 27 years old, 30 years old, something like that. So there's that one. <laughs> this one, as you can see, is still in this plastic. Yeah, just put shadow toys, it's fine. Okay. And then Pam will let me know if we're sold. I said just let me know when we're sold. Chris gonna get a deal. Oh, just bump the camera. Sorry, guys. For four dollars, they sell for seven fifty and up. Yeah, those are awesome. Slime pits are great. Uh, sold, sold, sold. Chris Chatworth for seventy. Congratulations, Chris. That was an awesome buy. Speaking of He-Man, because I happen to like He-Man and stuff like that, when I was out at the market on Sunday, one of the guys has a toy booth, knows I buy movie posters, and he's like, hey, he's like, I have some toy movie posters. And I was like, what do you mean toy movie posters? He said, he said I have this cool movie poster from 1987. And he's like, and I have a couple of them. And I was like, what? It's Dolph Lundgren as He-Man. See, Masters of the Universe, original 27 by 41 poster. I originally thought about just putting them in one of my wholesale lots and just sending them out to you guys. But I bought these in a separate deal, so I figured I would bring them here. So uh, 10 bucks, $10 start. It's got Dolph Lundgren and Frank Langella, who was also from the Dracula movies. I'm going to turn this down here. And let's see if I can zoom out a little bit for you guys. There we go. Sorry, the top of the poster is hanging over the edge. But I have three of these, so you're going to get all three. That way you own all three of them that I bought from him. And we'll we'll play win or lose. We'll see if I made money or if I don't. Mountain Man in at 10. So you get all three for your bid, and that includes shipping. <laughs> yeah. Larkin at 12, Kenneth in at 15, Mark in at 17. And they're from 1987. So from He-Man, Masters of the Universe. So if you collect the vintage toys, these would be awesome as like a backdrop for the toys. 
We're at 25 with J&Js. At 30 with Mountain Man. Mark is out. And if I remember right, these are actually a good poster because there's a ton of He-Man collectors out there. And there's the top. What's really cool on the top is if you look, that's Skeletor up in the air behind He-Man. So you get three of these for your bid. All three. You get all three of them for your bid. Mountain at 32. Mountain in at 34. Blue Rush, okay, blind. Hi, Anthony. So we have 34 with Mountain Man. We're at 36 with Josh. We're at 40 with Mountain Man. And after bidding is done, and once the winner is won, I'll tell you if I was a winner or loser on these. But we're never a loser, no matter what, because we get to send cool stuff to you guys, and you guys get to make really good money on it. And that makes us happy. So we have Josh in at 42, looking for 44 or better. All three of them are in really great shape. Obviously, they have fold lines because they're 1987. And just so you know that they were fully licensed at that time, right there it says Mattel 1987. So the He-Man toy line was fully aware of the movie. Mountain Man at 44. Yeah, he was scanning all the packages. So we're at 46 with Josh. Fifty with Mountain Man. There's more toys and there's more toys on the floor too. Okay. Toys. Toys. <laughs> Clearing out space and selling toys. Let me step over there. I just want to see if I can. She likes it. Let me get a cool old photo of them out for you guys. I am HR. What is this? You know, an appropriate contract. Box. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is. Once you get the hang of it, it's awesome. Gotta find me a. Yeah, see if there's. If you have some. Okay. Jim, don't put numbers in the. In the chat, we don't give comps. <laughs> so we're at 50 with Mountain Men Treasures. Going once. Okay, I believe we're going twice. And I believe we're going to be sold, sold, sold to Mountain Man Treasures for $50. That was a lose, guys. That was a lose. I paid 50 bucks. I got 50 bucks, but I'll have to pay shipping. So. But awesome buy. Congratulations. I believe we're sold. Are we sold? Sold, sold, sold. Congratulations, Troy. That was a great buy. And Jim was correct with his 
estimate. Okay, so let's do the last of the postcards that I had bought. First one's pretty awesome. So ten dollar start. Check this out. Little motorboat. American flag in the back. So these are the leather postcards. So there's two of those. Three, four, five. And guys, this will come off. It's just uh, it's like a rubber band. So there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. That one's really pretty painted. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. That one's really pretty. 30, 31, 32, 33. Look at this one. It's got a frog man. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, and the box is empty. So you get 79 of these leather bound postcards in this lot. The two with little motorboats are my favorite. And the Frogman Ribbit. So 79 leather postcards in this lot. I'm going to zoom you guys in. There we go. And we'll play win or lose on these too, since they came from the flea market as well. I also said Pokemon cards are about to explode again. The YouTuber auction in the first edition pack live on his channel starting by this kind of Wow, that's crazy. So we're at 110 with Lily. Glenn is out. So now we're looking for 120. And this is all of these that I have in these leather postcards. The other postcard collection has not arrived yet, but it will be getting here in the next week or so. We just had bad weather, so we'll have that for you maybe next week or the week after. Timothy, let him check. Give him one second. Registered. Go ahead. We got you, Timothy. You, got you, can, you can bid. Purple Lily's winning all of these leather postcards. She said, I want them all. Okay. Oh, they're awesome. For every 50,000 regular postcards you see, you might see one of these. I said, we need an estate sale again. <laughs> uh -huh. Not with two and a half foot of snow outside. 
over there. Why are you scared of the snow? <laughs> not scared of anything for a deal. Uh -huh, that's what I thought. Tornado? <laughs> Deal's big enough, I'll be there. Gone <laughs> twice. Sold, sold, sold the purple lily for one ten. One ten for purple lily. Congratulations, Lily. And guys. Who's playing win or lose with me? That was a win. Lily got all of them, or I believe 270 shipped, and I had 125 invested. So that's a win. We make some profit. Lily will make some profit. It's a double win. I gamble all the time, guys. It's just fun for me even though i have plenty of merchandise okay you can put these right there with that mm -hmm. one okay pam went over and found oh didn't find us a photo album but she found us a very 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 old holy bible so check out the cover on the holy bible this is all carved into it it's definitely it's detached but look at the hardware on this like the metal hardware is awesome now let's see first book of Moses it starts on page three so it is missing page one and two it is very, very early. It's probably 1840s or 1850s would be my guess. Book of Judges. It's got gold marking on the edge. Let's see if there's any. It's a nice engraving. I'm missing a lot of pages because I'm skimming through very quickly. There's another engraving in here. But I think the book itself is beautiful. Okay. And the binding split there. But let's get into what makes this book really good. Oh, actually, here's the first two pages. So let's see if we can find a year. American Bible Society Original Standard Edition from 1816. This is 1863. So this is a Civil War era Bible. In any of those totes or tubs? Okay, no big deal. Well, we can do some of the bigger stuff. Nice. This would have been in the very front like this so it does look like it is complete then because this will go right up here in the front and then this is all handwritten 1869 uh, tells you who got married so these are marriages uh, 1810 1813 1839 1862 tells you who married who on those dates the pull this up here because it's beautiful it's like gold leaf you can see all handwritten so twenty dollar start here's more marriages more marriages 1863 so these are people who are getting married during the civil war and then we get into the photos kate van woman adopted daughter of general rp van Damon, something like that. Here is the guy, I guess. So these are CDV photos. Let me turn this down here a little bit better. Lizzie Nash, Miss John N. Van Damon, George Van Damon, brother of Maggie. 
And these obviously have great uh, information on the back of them for who they were. And then you get up into the New Testament with the color engraving, 1862. So Civil War era Bible with photos and marriage information and engravings. So this is beautiful. So another engraving here. You guys got some piggies. But very cool. Like I said, the let me show you the back of the album itself. Here's the back. You can see this is all carved into the actual book. It's beautiful. They did such great work. So leave it open like that. Let's see where they're from. Washington CH Ohio, Washington CH Ohio. So they're from Ohio, Washington CH Ohio. So it seems like they're all from the Washington Ohio area. Kathy at 90. Is it metal on the front? It has the, the latches. These are metal fittings. But this, the book itself is either leather or a wood carved. Wood. So wood, wood, leather, wood carved leather. Yep. So it's like wooden leather carved. And then obviously the fittings are, are metal. And these are really cool. Liza Wilson, son of so-and-so. Ben Damon died May 12th, 1843. So there's some death information as well as the marriages. So this is births. These are births. And there's deaths on the other one. And then these are marriages. Married by Reverend John Scott in 1869. Married by Reverend B.F. Harmon, 1867, 1862. Oh, cool. 130 with J.I., 150 with Kathy Bauer. Yeah, we can do it next week. Yeah, I've got um, some, some loose photos. Here. Oh, that's fine. Spark notes of your life. Yep. <laughs> J.I. is out. So we're at 150 with Kathy, looking for 160 or better on the 1860s Civil War era Bible. Okay, looks like we're going to be going once. I'm going to start counting it down. Close to Columbus. Yeah, I think you can get it rebound to or like get a uh, spine put on it. Like a uh, connecting leather piece. Going twice. Give me your tissues. Mm -hmm. 
so she can wrap the cars individually in tissues. Ronald Johnson said that is awesome. Thank you, Ronald. Yeah, it's super cool, especially with the photos in it. Like I like the photos too. And it's funny because now you can put a, a face with some of the names on who got married and stuff like that. Who was born. 30s or 40s marijuana posters. <laughs> sold, <laughs> sold, sold for 150 to Kathy Bauer. <laughs> sold. I already had the sale. That's awesome. That's great. I love when you guys are getting sales out of stuff that you buy from us. Troy sends me pictures sometimes of stuff that he's selling that he got from us, which is fun. Okay, do we have any baseball sports people in here? Let's see. We got to get a tray. Okay. So I have, I have like paid halfway decent for these. So let me grab. Yeah, if we can get a tray, that'd be awesome. Okay. So I believe these are like 1930s. They are matchbooks. This is James A. Collins from the Chicago Cubs. Has him right there. They actually took him, wrapped each one. I, I bought these individually. But I wanted to see how they would do, so this is my gamble. The more you guys bid, the bigger the lot will get. Um, I bought a total of, I believe, 50 pieces. But what's cool is the sets they did in different colors. So, you know, you have a red one, a blue one, and a green one in the slot. $10 start, and they're very early. Like I said, 30s or 40s. I'm sure somebody could look and figure out what year they are, but I'm pretty sure they're no older than 30s. He said he thought they were 1920s or 30s, but I think they're 1930s into the early 40s. So James Collins, you get all three for your bid, $10 start. So if we have any good baseball people. Hi, Jim Bug. 1936, Mark Johnson said. Thank you. So I was right, 1930s. So we have 10 with Late Night with Bull. Yeah, these are awesome. We have 12 with Greg. Like I said, as the bidding goes up, I may add more to the lot. Um, I have several hundred dollars into them, so it just kind of has to make sure. And Adam, do you have a U.S. postal address? Because I do have a package here for you that we sent you an invoice, but I noticed that your address, I believe, is, is Canada. So if you have a U.S. address, please just send that to me so that we can send you out your item. As U.S. shipping is included. So we have 20 with Greg Lusk. Ronald came in just a second after Greg. And this is all three different colors of James Collins from the Chicago Cubs. 1935, 1936. Okay, that's awesome. Yes, yes, they are matchbook covers. And I haven't pulled them out of the sleeves, but they actually are in really, really good condition. They're from by Diamond Match Company. Has all of his stats on the back. And then his picture on the front. And with as hot as baseball cards are, especially this era, these are much less common than baseball cards. So I would not be surprised if they actually grade these. Okay, Adam, I'll check it. Then. So we have Ronald Johnson in at 22. That explained why we didn't get salted. <laughs> so Ronald Johnson in at 22. Yeah, I'll check it then, Adam. That's no problem. So we're looking for 24 or better for the three of these. 25 with Nikki. They are gradable, so they do grade them. That's cool. 
And like I said, the graphics are really nice on them. The imagery is really great. So we are at 25. We're at 27 with Ronald. So what I will do is I have two sets of the James Collins, so you'll get six because you guys are bidding what I paid. So So now you get six of them. I'm trying to kind of put them in order by player. Starting with Mickey Mickey. They are. I wish I was off on them. them. <laughs> Looking at them. Like, Sweet. Never a drinking situation. I don't know. 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 <laughs> now I'm in trouble. Try again at 40. Okay, so we're at 40 for six. Sorry, guys, I'm separating players right now. And all six are in great condition. I mean, guys, we can do them this way, or I can put. After this lot, I can put all the rest in one lot and start it at my cost. Bonnie, give them a second. I'll have them check for you. There we go. Okay, so now they're separated by player. Who are we looking for? Connie. Just Connie. Okay, hang on. 44 will drag. Got it. Okay, Connie, we got you. Okay, good. Ronald. And this is all of the James Collins. That's all of him that I have. I just did it that way so you guys don't have to compete whenever you go to list them or whatever. You get all of that player and all the colors. So we're at 46 with Ronald. So we're looking for 48. And for those of you who are here that like toys and stuff, I did just buy a Star Wars collection from South Carolina. It is confirmed. I did complete the purchase, or actually, my parents went over and took the money and paid the people and picked up the merchandise. So they've been sending me pictures. What do you said that was a for sure thing? No, I said that was for sure today. <laughs> I've been working on that for three and a half weeks. Hi, Rodney. So we are at forty-six dollars on the nineteen thirty-five, nineteen thirty-six. Diamond Match Company Baseball Match Books. These are all of James Collins. And you get all six of them. There are two sets of all three colors of James Collins. T um, has some eyes for you. <laughs> T's watching. <laughs> so we got a bunch of like sports starter jackets some all over print t-shirts, some Star Wars shirts, and then there's a 1977 Millennium Falcon in the box and some other cool stuff. So we're at 46, looking for 48 or better for the six pieces. I believe we're going once. Greg, let us know if you're in or out. He's out. Mr. Hot Wheels is Mr. out. Mr. Hot Wheels is out. Okay. I believe it is T unless she brings it up here. So we have 50 with Ronald. Somebody, I thought Ronald's already in at 46. Did somebody else come in at 48? 46. Ronald, you're high bidder at 46. So you're, you're good. You don't yeah. have to bid yourself up. 
trust me, I don't mind, but you know, we're going to take your lower bid. <laughs> yeah, I can just have her ship it from the South Carolina. <laughs> yeah, I believe there's a 12 back Han Solo on the card and some other cool stuff. Soul Soul sold the Ronald Johnson for 46. <laughs> okay, sold for 46. That was a loss on my end. It's about a break even, but after shipping, it's a loss. Okay, so here's a little group of photos. I don't know why I bought these, but I did, and I don't know what's in them. They were in that box. <laughs> so that kind of looks like Dracula. This is King Kong. So I'd probably say these are like 70s or 80s. I don't think they're super, super old. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I probably bought them just because they were monster related when I was bidding on those toys at that auction. So I believe this is this is Jekyll and Hyde, I think. It's another horror movie. This one is on thicker stock paper. This is obviously The Wolfman. This is Phantom of the Opera. Universal Monsters of the Silver Screen, Phantom of the Opera. Uh, Ten bucks. You have, I believe that is Bella Lugosi as Dracula. I think it's Lon Chaney there as the Wolfman. No clue what that one's from. <laughs> and then we got King Kong with all the different other monsters going around it on the outside of the Bride of Frankenstein. I saw Frankenstein. I think there might even be Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. So, photos, it's just, I think that they were 1970s or 80s. You might have bought them in like the back of Famous Monsters magazines or something along those lines. Yeah, because the new uh, Godzilla King Kong movie is coming out. Picking a painting at 15, not man at 20. Hi, Harry. I'm sorry. Harry. What's up, Harry? The bag. <laughs> These are they're remade 70s, 80s, somewhere in that neighborhood. I'd probably say 80s these came out. Okay, Nikki, uh, 25. I mean, I know like American movie classics used to release them whenever they were redoing the movies and stuff. So it could be something like that, but. Eleven photos. Eleven pieces. Well, that's all it was in the box. I told him I'd sell him what was there what was in that box. <laughs> Thirty five with cooking and painting. <laughs> it's a little small for you, Brian. It is a small lot for me. I agree. Phantom of the Opera is cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're at 35. With picking, painting, and other stuff. If you're looking for 37 or better, it's about three bucks a photo. Plus the shipping, it's a pretty good deal. Look 
up, Pam. Wake up. <laughs> Pam over here sleeping, guys. I'm a little tired. This she got to start drinking. It's been a very long week. <laughs> Lots of shoveling. Picky Nicky's in at 37. Yes. So we're looking for 39 or better. 27 inches of snow is too much to shovel. <laughs> Thanks, Mama G. That's a lot of snow. <laughs> yeah. I ain't never seen anything that big that was white. Other than my car. My car's white. <laughs> yeah, like I said, these are definitely 70s or 80s. They're not... <laughs> Not 30s. I wish they were 30s because they'd be hundreds each. But this way I don't get yelled at whenever I buy stuff because I sell it to you guys the instant I open the box. So it doesn't stay here any amount of time. <laughs> Paul said he has a really perverted mind and they caught it <laughs> so we're at 37 I believe is that right 37 we're looking yes. for 39 okay Let's start counting it down counting it down go two of them three four five six would you say you're pregnant what <laughs> so. Auctions for you. T bought another storage unit. What? <laughs> You're gonna get <in> trouble. <laughs> Did Brian buy any storage units? No. No, we, we, we can't. Wait, which storage units was I buying? I don't know, but you can't buy any. No. Oh. Um, nothing, Carla. No, she's plugged in. Unplug the back of it. I didn't tell you to blow on it, and I'm jealous. <laughs> yep. Okay, I'll put it in a different hole. Tell me if that works. Yep. Fixed it. Just oh, well, the big <laughs> guy just heard that. See, I told you we were going to get in trouble, Brian. He knew about her little tiny storage unit that Brian's cleaning out for. I don't think so. Yes, he does. I don't think so. Uh-huh. Brian has such a big mouth that you shouldn't tell him. No, he did not. She told me he told him, or she told him. Her manager special unit. Mm -hmm. Are we having Timothy? No, we're not going to do another auction tomorrow. We're going to make sure that everything is caught up. <laughs> I can hear you now. <laughs> <laughs> and you what one? That scale, please. Not working. Yeah, it went out again. Do I get cold? Did you hold down the on off button? No. No, I mean to turn it on. Brian! <laughs> Come on. Yeah, two days ain't enough here at this point. Yeah, we shipped out like a hundred and what, a hundred and twenty yesterday and then today a full bin and my car was full. Timothy 
27 inches. 27 inches. And actually, we probably will be caught up by the time we're done today. Kim's still working away. Um, we probably maybe will have two packages and we can't ship them anyway yet. So she's, she's kicking butt over here. Yep, we're going to be completely done packing and shipping. We have 19 as of right now on eBay. Next lot, Junior. Okay, we sold? Yes. You didn't tell me we were sold. Brian's distracted today. Okay, let's see. Let's do something interesting. I don't know why I bought these, but I bought them and I told them that I would try these. So I need a tray. Can you hand me a tray up there? Oh, Pam brought me some. Never mind. Yeah, Brian's distracted today. Okay, so friends of mine had these. We always have people ask us if we have knives and whatnot. Mommy said, pay attention. <laughs> what? You almost cut yourself with that. Because I saw you jump. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. See, I don't know if you're supposed to hold it like this, but I would think that if you held it like this, you'd, you'd cut yourself, but Maybe not. Who knows? So you got the cool Batman knife. I'm just playing. Jeez. Yeah. Look, guys, they don't trust me. You're going to fight? I wouldn't do it this way because when you hit something, it'll cut your fingers off. But So Batman knife, double-bladed, interesting but non-licensed. This was my, my biggest problem with these was is that they're non-licensed. So I'm just going to sell them all together for one money, and we'll see how they do. They had a few more. I just took some samples from them. This one's very cool. It's embossed. It's got an edged blade like that. Start over. <laughs> Uh, 10 bucks. <laughs> and here's a cool Batman. But see, they don't say Batman on them, which really bugs me. Like, I don't know. But they have neat blades, and they are definitely, you know, there's no question about it, they're Batman, but. But I figured you guys would like these because they're superhero-ish esque and they're dangerous and you guys get to see me almost slice off a finger and you guys get to see that Pam generally does care. She really does, you guys. <laughs> and then and then you have like these batarang throwing stars. They come in this cool little case. <laughs> Pam just told me that snitches get stitches. So. so you get three of those little throwing stars. They come in this nifty little box. Uh, there's one more after that, after what you guys see right now. And then the last one in this lot is this one, which is the one I like the most. I don't know why, but it's the Joker. <laughs> Get it open. Yeah. That one was really hard to do. Like, <laughs> it says, Why so serious? <laughs> Oh, you guys want to see throwing stars? Watch this. Let me find something. <laughs> find me some cardboard. Find me a box. I'll throw stars at it. Come on. We've got to give the people what they want. Wait, you guys are all in trouble. <laughs> Okay, so that's all of everything that you get in this lot. I'm going to stop playing with the knives. It's like, it's like when my parents yell at me for running with scissors. And I'm like, I'm not running, I'm skipping. 
these are cool. I wonder if they would stick. Hi, honey. Hi, Can you move that box over that way? No. I'm going to put that down now. That would be a negative. See you guys. They're no fun. Over there. I know. Well, I would I would wait until she moved away. <laughs> no, no, they would not give me your life insurance if I was throwing stars in your general direction and you accidentally got punctured in the throat. <laughs> Mama G says hi, Kim. Hi. <laughs> so we're at fifty with Vicky Nikki. See, guys, this is the place to be. Sooner or later, somebody's going to lose a finger or an eye on this show. Yes, tomorrow when Brian gets us all slushies. <laughs> and then I'm allowed to throw throwing stars at them. <laughs> tomorrow is slushy day. Alcoholic slushies and throwing stars. Sounds like a good time to me. <laughs> We're looking for 55. And everything else is, it's all brand new. It's all in the boxes. And they are actually, you know, they're nice. They're nice quality. No. The blade. Hey, I'm saying we should auction tomorrow, guys. Do you guys want us to auction tomorrow? If nobody is running tomorrow between one and four, I will probably do a little pop up auction for you guys, maybe a few hours. Okay, so we're doing an auction tomorrow, guys. I just got informed. Thank you to whoever's idea that was that wasn't my idea because if I would have came up with that idea, they would have been like, no, we're going drinking. That's actually, um, yeah, for you guys, but Kim has been really saying on it and saying that I help him a lot getting all your guys' orders out. So yep. there's only two more for her to do, and it's only 30, so I'm sure they'll be done. Yep. I'm Batman. Uh, yes, please. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yes, often tomorrow. No one's life. I do. I mean, I, I'm going Shangies after work, so. <laughs> so we're at 55 with Adam. Greg said yes. Looking for 60. Any lobby cards that I. Stan, I think we can arrange that. I believe we we can do some lobby cards today. That distributor I bought out had quite a few. Maybe we should create lobby card wholesale lots. Maybe if you have more than what you brought. Yeah, I don't know how many more. We are at 60 with Picky Nicky. That's probably not a good idea to do with $150 lobby card sets either. Probably not. Fine. No. I'm sure you can. What about? It's not like I can even get into the other warehouse. What about those other movie programs? Yeah. Yeah, I can probably do those in wholesale lots. We could do those. We'll do. Lots. We'll do some as auction first to see how they do, and then we'll go from there. Okay. What's up, Gary, my man? What's up, Gary? Westside Gary. If you guys don't know Westside Gary, Westside Gary does auctions on Saturdays. Oh, well, once a month, sometimes twice a month. Gary, if you know when your next auction is, make sure you mention it. Over there on the side. Hockey stuff. Um, I'm not sure. We have a bunch of boxes that are miscellaneous sports stuff in the back. I really haven't gotten a dig in too much, so there might be. I'm not sure. Yeah, and out of the sports cards, there's like three million cards. I have no clue what's in those. Just Tell them, Mr. Chatworth. Uh, faster you bid, the more lots we get through. So we are at, what, 65? We're at 60. 60 with Picky Necky. 62 with Adam. It has to be 65. So we have 60 with Picky Necky, and then bids over the $50 increment are have to be $5 bids. And then once you're over $100, they're $10 bids. I know some of you guys are newer, so no big deal. So 65 with Adam. Thank you, Adam. Or is that 66? 66. Okay, so Adam's at 66. 
Jeez, to take off my glasses for one second. <laughs> Brian looks like a little old guy squinting at the screen right now. Picky Nikki's out. Okay. I'm going to start calling it down. We're going to sell these dangerous toys before I want to go play with them again. I want to play with this one again. That would probably be a no unless I bring some crafting from my house. It's where I really keep a lot of crafting stuff. We have a few magazines in the back. Um, what are those? Crafting, sewing, housekeeping? Yeah, good housekeeping and crochet and something else magazine. Yeah, a little bit of that, but not, not much crafting stuff. Needlework or something. I do have, ooh, I should bring some glass beads. We should auction those. You should have your own YouTube channel. <laughs> we should auction, what do you think? Glass beads on Brian's channel. Oh, it's killing me. It's okay. We love Pam, so she can she can bring stuff and sell it. Sold, sold, sold. Sixty-six dollars. Congratulations, Adam. Mama G said yes. Yeah, it's all in the world. It's all made for jewelry. There's stones and crystals and all kinds of stuff. Okay, I have no clue what these are. I don't know where these came from. Oh, these are really early. Where'd these come from? Yeah. So review of reviews from 1893 That's monthly happen, international magazine. Look at this. Look at the ads on the back of this. You got it, girl. I didn't even know I owned these. So look, watch ads. Kodak to the World's Fair. Bicycles. Look at all the different ads. These are fantastic. Look at corset ads. Root beer hires root beer. So these are from 1893, these books. And they have all these great, they're almost like a catalog. But all these great ads from different magazines, I guess, of the time. So $10 start. So there's ads in the back. National Science from London Mail. Oh, so it looks like it tells you what each magazine had for that month or whatever, what different stories. So Muncie's Magazine from New York had the Navy Battalion, Boy Choirs in America. It shows the different stories that they had. And then leading articles. So it looks like they took a little bit from each one of the different magazines and published their own, like, in-depth synopsis and then in the back they took all the different cool ads Frederick Courtney Seleuse engraving oh, this one Sam, give me a little tape, three leading unionist members of parliament from Ulster a couple. Nice. I need this one, <laughs> these are awesome The Duke of York, with the architecture. Administration building at the World's Fair from 1893. Craft and World's Fair special. Train, all for one ticket. So, but, you know, with me, you don't just get one, guys. This one's October 1892, and this one is March of 1893. So this one's a year older. New York, London. World's Congresses. So at Chicago, World's Fair. Uh, let me check. Ronald, you are already rent. Yep, Ronald, so you can bid. You might have, if you've been a buyer over at T at auction for you, we would have given you a wrench from them. But also make sure that you send us one if you have not. But I will check in just a second. I was just trying to look at the comics. Only in at 45. Like war taxes. These are awesome. 
So 1890s, this is all in the war. Current events, different famous people. Honorary Henry Cabot Lodge of Massachusetts. This is the Kathy Bauer. John Palmer, commander of the Grand Army. The late George William Curtis in the easy chair. These are cool. I love the old ads, Victor Bicycle ads. Oh, how are you getting around down there in Easton? You got a little bit of smell? So you get all three of these, which are great and very early. Oh, thank you, Gary. Thank you very much for the super chat. Super chat. Super chat. So if you guys like early 1800s ephemera, that's probably pretty rare that I didn't get a chance to look at yet. Pam's brought it to you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> my brains rattle around then if I shake my head too much ooh these are neat yeah but he doesn't stop over and hang out with us well you know what we don't like you anymore <laughs> <laughs> Pam said you could have went to Tanza's and got her slushies. Yes, Kyle, you should do that. And then you should come by. And come and hung out with us and looked at comic books and cards and toys. Yes, Allentown should be shut down until it melts. It's very terrible. You're welcome, Kathy. Okay, R Ron. Was it Ron Johnson you were asking? Yes. Thank you, Dave. Super chat from Dave. Um, Nancy Newell. Nancy Newell, I believe we have her as well. First cat worth in at 70. Yes, we have Nancy Newell. Okay, hey, Nancy, you're able to bed. And Ron Johnson was the other one you were asking me about? Yeah, he's also a rat. Yep, he's good to go. First cat worth in at 80. Kathy Bauer in at 90. Has anybody ever seen these before? I haven't. Published simultaneously in the United States and Great Britain. Do they have slushies, Kyle? <laughs> <laughs> Owns Wise Guys Beer. Never hmm. heard of that. I'll have to check on that. I'm going to Shaggy's, the biggest beer place in the world this weekend. So we have Kathy in at 150. Chris Chatworth is out. Chris is out. And these are actually in pretty awesome condition for 130 years old. I hope I look this good when I'm 130. Don't worry, guys. That'll never happen. Pam and Kim will never let me live that long. I need some more nerd beer. <laughs> yeah, no. More some sour beer. Hi, Ronnie G. Look, we got Ronnie G, Mama G. All we need now is a Daddy G coming in the house. <laughs> going twice. Or how about the OG? <laughs> Ba -da -bum. Oh my goodness. We get a little silly here after about nine o'clock in the morning when we get here at nine. <laughs> sold, sold, sold to Kathy Bauer for one. Congratulations, Kathy. Those were actually really neat. I've never seen this before. I have a had a group of them somewhere, but I forgot all about them until Pam brought them up here and put them up here. Okay, so let's see what we got here. We have a 
WWF WrestleMania, The Rock. Because do you smell what The Rock is cooking? Hey, look, guys. You guys can look in 3D, too. Here. Here. La, 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 la. Like Come on, you know you're getting excited when I do that. Haunted Haulers. <laughs> My Tung Fu is strong. Check this out. So this thing launches these cars, these little motorcycles. <laughs> somebody wants to be my wife just wants to know if somebody will be my substitute wife for a week <laughs> Dracula bike yeah so it shoots shoots the little motorcycle the little Dracula monster motorcycle that's pretty nifty that's in the box so very cool by Matchbox. <laughs> See? Everybody's for schnookered by the time they're done here. This is probably from some Japanese anime because he's got hard details. Super cool action figures. Oh, it's a girl, so I don't know why she's got any hard details. 1997 Hudson Soft. What? It's such a contradiction. It's by Hudson Soft. says it's got hard details. Anybody volunteer yet to be my substitute wife? Yeah. To be your substitute wife? Whoa, substitute sweet. Wife. Look, if you'll take a substitute wife, I'm uh, I'm down. Like, no, Brian. <laughs> so you got two of the vintage real Ghostbuster watches. 1986. Check these out. So, so he lifts up. And there's a watch underneath it. That's cool. Stay Puff Marshmallow. So you get. Damn it. No take backsies. <laughs> no, her legs would have told her to run. But the three hamburgers she had before that told her, nope, you can't. She's in the other room. She can't hit me. 45 with her I think she's going to attack Chris in the back. Oh, per her. Oh, she went to get more tissues to wrap everybody's cars. <laughs> I love tissues yeah. to do that. It works great. One tissue per car just keeps them apart from each other. You put bubble wrap underneath them and bubble wrap on top of them. They look great. <laughs> Motor blogs? Yeah. <laughs> so we are at 60 with Motor blogs. Looking for 65. What's all this stuff? The big things? Okay. She said separate, you guys. <laughs> Tell her, you don't want no separate. Put it all together and sell it. We have all this stuff on top of the table. I see. Yeah, that's awesome model kit. Ooh, that's a gift set. And we got like old computer games. Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, that's pretty cool. 
Yeah, it's pretty neat. But we'll put it with something else, too. The movies, they knock everything off the table. I don't know what that means. That does happen. So we're at 65 with Fab Yeti Fines, looking for 70 or better. Motovlogs is out. You want to try to say his name? No. <laughs> Can we get easy names? Her tongue foo is not strong. <laughs> I need a name. <laughs> I, I need to know what I'm going to have my YouTube name is. I'm waiting. Ronnie G, you got to get in line because I'm waiting on Chris Chatworth to come up here to Pennsylvania and hang out <laughs> and drive a big truck full of stuff back. Sold, sold, sold. The Fabiati for 65. Sold, sold, sold. See? That did well because everybody could smell what the rock is cooking. Okay. Air Bandits Junior Remote Control Drone Helicopter Thingamabob. So you get that. Let's put that there. Uh, this one's awesome. Congratulations on your first win. Check this out. Scooby-Doo Extreme 21 Programmable Stunt Actions. It is large. And there you program it up here on the front. Hey, we're here. Got a whole warehouse. Got two warehouses and three storage units. And I bought a tractor trailer load of stuff in North Carolina. And I just bought a Star Wars collection in South Carolina. Hi. I know. It's weird that this box looks like this. It's so strange. I don't know. Yeah, it's like the the labeling is peeling on it. So you get those. Let's find more stuff. What do you guys think? More stuff, right? Brian likes more stuff. This one is awesome. This is a vintage tank model kit from either Italy or Japan. I think it's from Japan. No, it says made in Italy by Italiari. Just trying to find a year. If there's a year on it, I couldn't read it anyway because it's in some other language. And I'm just here to be a pretty face. But here it is. It's, everything's still in the trees. The tank treads, everything are still in the trees. It is complete. So I know where I got it from. It is 135th scale. So you get that. Let's do a $20 start. It's definitely going to cost more than that to ship these items. Okay, well, if Mama G put 25 in there, all you women are in control anyway, so fine. Here's a sword of some sort. I don't know why. I thought it was for an action figure or something, but I think it's metal. But that goes. You get a cool pencil. Let's add a big pencil in here. It is 1964 World's Fair. Giant size pencil. It's 1964 New York World's Fair. Giant souvenir pencil. Get that. I clean this table off. Let's see how we're doing. Let's look at our stuff. Ooh. How about Rome, Caesar's Will, Crime, Passion, and Power, Multimedia, I guess this is an old computer game from 2000. It is still factory sealed. It was for Windows 95, Windows 98. Factory sealed old PC game. 
We've got Alone in the Dark 2. Another old PC game. Best adventure game of 1994. I think the cellophane actually just split at the top. I don't think it's ever been out. And Alita PC CD-ROM game from 2004. I don't know. I just grabbed whatever was laying around. Yeah, probably a good idea. A lot of stuff. <laughs> so, Alita CD-ROM game. It does not... I don't think this ever been played. But there's multiple discs. So... Disc one. There's another disc right there. So disc one and two. Disc three. So the next disc should be disc four. And disc number five. For Alita. I know some of these old like computer games bring good money, but and the other two up there are factory sealed. This has never been built. It's old stock. Don't ever believe that. He lurks in the background waiting to pounce. Chris, they are building Chris Chatworth boxes right now, I believe. Yes, she is. I only knew because they pulled over a refrigerator box. <laughs> Katie with Mountain Man. <laughs> hey. What? That's, they, they are. <laughs> Why does it have to be their little white babies? Why can't are. it just be like little baby dolls? Because they are little white babies. <laughs> There's shower. People laugh out loud. <laughs> Uh, Patterson in at 85. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> we do not support sex trafficking in any way, shape, or form on this channel. Yeah. Unless they are over 21. <laughs> oh, God, he can put some things in at 90. Pat is out. <laughs> Look, Kim can ask for a substitute wife. You have to read down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> <Shoo. laughs> I, I thought she asked for a substitute for you, not for herself. Oh. <laughs> I did ask for a substitute for Brian. 95 of Mountain Man Treasures. <laughs> See what you two did? You got us three thumbs down. <laughs> not us. Three you of what? them. You did it all yourself, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Brian had like five last week, so that's all right. Yeah, it went back to three though. <laughs> they got four. <laughs> Somebody's not see, with you. See, the girls did. It's okay. <laughs> we appreciate the fact that people are here. That's all that matters. Hundred and forty two watchers. So we hope you guys are having as good of a time as we are. <laughs> Going once. So we do appreciate your time and you guys being here and dealing with our bad jokes. Did you sell um, Polly Pockets or do you have some buried somewhere? I am 100% positive we have some buried somewhere, but exactly where, I don't know. Yeah, whatever Pam says. <laughs> I have no clue what's anywhere anymore. I, I was up at the other warehouse this morning to get – uh, umbrella stands like the ones wish. you bought last week and one of the giant eight foot piles 
that Pam had dug out from against <laughs> fell over. But that way we can all see what's in it. So when I go up there and dig around in it. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Those boxes were heavy. They're probably magazines or paper goods. Sold, sold, sold to Mount Man Charger for 95. Congratulations. There is a lot of toys up there. Oh, so many trains. So much stuff. There's a lot of stuff. a bunch of vintage Lionel trains and stuff. Okay, there you go. You know, even though Van Owsley's not here and he's going to be very disappointed about this, but I've got to do this because I bought this and I thought it was awesome. And I know we've got some people in here who like the pinup girls and stuff like that. So check this out. Rear Admiral. So this is one of those old punch boards and it's unpunched. It was five cents. This is military related. What box? Oh, no. I didn't even hear you. Distracted. Yeah, I was distracted. So these used to be on, you know, on bars and at like little restaurant stores and stuff like that. This was their way to gamble. You would punch out these and here's the key and you would actually punch through. And whenever you got certain tickets, you would get money. They would give you money. It was a, a legal way to legally gamble or a legal way to illegally gamble. But this one has the awesome pinup girl on it. So very cool. She's got her little spyglass looking for her sailor, and you can see the USS emblem there. It's in really nice shape. It is probably 1930s or early 40s. It is very thick, unused. So $10 start. Hey, snapper. Snapper. thought she was yelling at me because I didn't put more of the stuff that she had pulled up there. Well, when you said you didn't like your box, and I was like, I didn't even joke about it. <laughs> Shut up, Brian. You'll get hurt today. Okay, so we have 10 with flipping ain't easy. Yeah, they used to have them in country stores and stuff like that. And for everybody who hasn't, if you hit that thumbs up, we would definitely appreciate it. We are here all in good fun and obviously to make space in the warehouses. We have Ronald Johnson in at 20. And your thumbs up helps promote us to YouTube so that they send it out so we can have more auctions and sell more stuff and make you guys more money. That's my goal. My goal is to make you a bunch of money so you come back and spend more here. I have a tape measure out here. That's pretty yeah. bad. Here. Oh. My wife's hoarding them. She's got two of them over there. So this is 10 and a half inches by 9 inches in size. So we're at 25 with Adam. Oh, wait, no, we're at 24 with Josh. Next bid would be 26. So we have 24 with Josh looking for 26. It looks like Josh's and Adam's bids came in pretty much simultaneously. So we're at 27 with Ronald looking for 29 or better. So next bid would be $29 on the vintage punch board. We have Josh in at 29 on the pinup girl punch board. We have a lot of awesome people in the house today. So we do want to let you guys know we appreciate you being here.
Josh is out. We're at 31 with Ronald Johnson. Looking for 33 or better. Adam, let us know if you're out. You cold? No, Say my sweatshirt's over there if you need it. Okay, going once. Ronald Johnson in at 31. Looking for 33 or better. Ooh. When we get toys like this. My guys are going to have fun with these. Sell them. It's all for sale. While you guys pack in the morning, I'll start putting together lots for the auction for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So everybody, just so everybody knows, we do not normally host an auction on Fridays, but we're going to tomorrow because we missed Tuesday and Wednesday of this week. We have 33 with Adam. <laughs> See, both of my wives get along. My work wife and my home wife. I got them both shirts that say Brian's boss on them. <laughs> I have Ronald in at 35. <laughs> so we're looking for 37 or better. Oh, look at all the other action figures and toys coming. I know. You need a bigger box, honey. Sorry, if I haven't helped you with that in the past 10 years, then it ain't going to happen. <laughs> Kyle came in and said, whoever won the last lot, Alone in the Dark 2 game, make sure to look it up before they sell it because apparently it was good. Oh, well. Somebody got to get a good deal, which is good for you people. I'm happy about that. We got lots of good deals coming out of these warehouses as long as, as, long as they disappear. So I'll be going once. So we have Ronald Johnson in at 35. We're looking for 37 or better. Adam, if you're out, just say out. Al Nesbitt would come around every once in a while. I'd have probably saved this for him because he loves punch boards and he's a big pinup collector. Thank you, Adam. Okie dokie. I believe this is going to be sold, 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 sold. sold. <laughs> Okay, I have a miscellaneous lot. Let me get this miscellaneous lot out of the way, guys, and then we will go to some toys just because I don't like having miscellaneous stuff sitting on the table, and I have a feeling this lot has some really cool stuff in it. So, yep, I'll probably send it, I'll send invoices tomorrow night. Since we're going to do an auction tomorrow, I would have sent them tonight, but since we're doing an auction tomorrow, I'll send all invoices tomorrow night. So Royal Worcester Mandarin bowls. These are like brand new old stock. You get a set of four of those cereal bowls. We all love cereal. You get a Norotaki colorway plate. You get a cool Native American little lamp glass shade. If you guys saw my lamp glass video, I'm not sure why that's over here, but... It's over here, so it's getting sold. Empire Pure Horsehair. I'm guessing this is probably a shoe brush for shoes. 
You have the awesome, really early grader chopper. Boingy, 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 boingy. Sorry. I believe that's Anchor Hawkins logo. Has even even has the wooden stopper in the bottom. It's the different ounces. This is all glass. It's very early wooden top. Uh, Fifteen dollars start on this lot. This is probably the coolest thing. Um, when I got this, this came out of the one house. This is supposedly it's from a tank, like a military tank. It is to sight in the enemy or something along those lines, like to figure out how far away they are or something like that. Here's a level, and it says quadrant fire control. So it's supposed to be off of a tank, like off of a military tank. So pretty interesting. Not sure how you get this part to move. But I don't know this stuff too well. But very cool. So if anybody wants to look, M13A3, quadrant fire control, tank part for a military tank. And then there's a little photo album of Washington, D.C. Some different places in Washington, D.C., like old pictures. These are probably 40s. Look, no protesters, no nothing. Great. Okay, so that's what you're getting in this lot. My favorite thing is probably the awesome tank part. Even has like a little cover that covers the the level. So you got photos of Washington D.C. You've got the old glass and wooden knob kitchen chopper thingy, and the awesome military tank control. There's the level at the bottom. And then this dial turns in things. And I don't know how you're supposed to move that, but it's all cast iron, though. It's very heavy. It's about a uh, pound, pound and a half. 40 with Midwest. That's this thing. They, they call it a slap top because you just got. I call it pregnancy control. We take a little carrot, throw it down in there, and tell the kids, like, hey, this is what happens. Don't repeat it. Oh, okay. So they're going to move. Okay, just tell her I'll call her afterward. I thought they were on on Wednesdays. Yeah. Or if they come on at like 3 or 3.30, we'll just go until then. So we have Midwest Picker in at 60. Apparently somebody knows what that little army tank thing is. Drink. What are we drinking? Why are we drinking? Did I say something? <laughs> I'm not sure. You probably did. I think Mama G just wants to drink. <laughs> you probably said something. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, maybe about like, you know. Mm-hmm. Teaching the kids not to. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> See, Brian jokes off and he forgets. That's right. 
realize. Yeah, inside my head is a vast expanse of space with three marbles that all have kinetic energy <laughs> playing tag. Uh -huh. So we're going once. Go in twice. Sold, sold, sold. Midwest picker. Number is that? They're sexy. If you say so. Keep it up, I'll draw it on your face. <laughs> Just gonna draw on me. That's not nice. <laughs> okay, so we have two Hot Wheels cars on the cards. Swing Fire and 65 Impala. So two Hot Wheels cars. We have a Roy Campanella baseball guy from 1998 starting lineup. We have Latrell Sprewell basketball guy from the New York Knicks basketball. This is a McFarland figure from what series? Series eight. And let's see if this is the normal Latrell Sprewell. Let's see. White with purple, white with blue and orange. So I don't know if this is, so this is what he's supposed to look like. And this is the one, so it might be the regular one, not a chase. So you get those four pieces, uh, $10 start. You get a large Jean Grey, who they are getting ready to make a movie for her for Dark Phoenix, where they already did. For Jean Grey. This is a large figure. It's probably about nine inches tall or so. Ten inches tall. So you get all of that. And we'll let you guys start bidding. So 23 with Josh. Okay, let's add one more item to the slot. A Game of Thrones Viserion Dragon. So you get that with it. So that's all the toys in this slot. So you get three, four, five, six pieces. In this slot. And then. Something else super cool next. Sandy Peck and Club 33. <laughs> Josh is out. Sorry, with Kyle. Hi, Kyle. So 
So we have 35 with Kyle. Oh, I think Adam was trying to put 35 in, but Kyle came in just a second before him. Oh, he just had his finger on the shift button. So, anyway. <laughs> so next bid would be 37. Kyle came in just a second before you, Adam. I think that Viserion Dragon's actually pretty good. Thirty-seven with Linda Long. Mm -hmm. Forty with Kyle. He's probably the last package that we got to ship. That's Kyle Tran. Kyle Trans, yeah. Mm -hmm. Got the three boxes over there. Oh, I think I'll be happy. Huh? <laughs> She's not going to be happy about that. At least we're not. Ship them all separate. <laughs> well, they they yeah. can be shipped separate. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're they're going to be too heavy to send. Yeah, they're going to be too heavy to ship all together. No, okay, so we are at forty dollars with Kyle O. Way as much as Brian. Wait, did you just say those three boxes together would weigh as much as me? The three of them. You said that. Me. You said that in a negative manner. No, I am no, offended. I cannot help it that I am gravitatively challenged. <laughs> Wish you were challenged. <laughs> Linda is out. Thank you for your bids, Linda. <laughs> we're going to rein in this group of mysteries that we have here at the <laughs> shop. You wish. Joking and laughing all about playing. <laughs> How dare them. I'm getting paid to have a good time. Uh -huh. Kim, did you hear Brian say he's getting slushies tomorrow? <laughs> I, heard. Uh. I heard that too. So if Kyle in at 40. <laughs> Chris Chatworth, are you still here? Oh, let's do let's do this. This looks like fun. We have another tray. Can you tray? Tray, please. Tray me right there. Thanks. We like our trays. Chris Tower said yes. Okay. <laughs> In two lots, Chris, there's going to be something really cool. Hi, J&J. &J. Thank you very much. Thank you for the super chat. Let me go over to here and go. Bing. Thank you, J&J. J&J's &J. picks and flips, guys. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Kyle, Kyle K for the quadru quadrifecta. Kyle Oman, sold, sold, sold. For $40. Sold, sold, sold. Congratulations, Kyle. Nice little lot. Okay. Now we're going to do an ephemera lot for all of our ephemera people. So I saw we had Snapper in the room. We got Kathy Bauer in the room. So we're going to make sure to bounce around a little bit here and there. And I know we had Purple Lily in here a little bit ago. So out of the photo boxes, we're going to do some photos. I'm just going to start filling this box. It's a $10 start. I don't know what Pam has in the tray that I'm pulling from to show you guys, but this is obviously military parade-esque. So there will be some random photos items there it tells you who are in these pictures these are 1930s sergeant mcnulty on maneuvers near selters germany so probably very early some of them are listed this is 1936 been at high school dorothy mccarthy so it has their names which is awesome here's a photo on board so this is 1910s 1920s has the person's name 
So these are very similar to what we have in those photo albums, except they're just not in an album. Look at this beautiful handwritten letter came inside of this envelope. Look, from 1882, July 17th, 1882, from Wapello, Iowa. Friends and Relations. Sunday evening, blah, blah, blah. I can't read some of it. Fell 19 years old. I had some luck this. Sent $1 to the Louisiana lottery and received $150. So this is somebody who won the lottery. That's pretty crazy. And this is just going to keep growing, guys. Congress of the United States House of Representatives letter. It is signed by George, uh, no, Warm Regards, and then whoever this was. Let's see whose office it was. Samuel Stratton, 35th District, New York. And it was to George Sloan, who was the postmaster of New York, Bainbridge, New York. So signed letter. Is there anything in this? It's just a piece of cardboard. Another photo, another photo on board. Um, this one actually tells you who it is as well on the back. Aunt Lucy Alger, Aunt Lucy to Margaret, married William Walker. This is Harmony School, October from 1896, the teacher's name. Look, there's even a little boy and a horse in the background. This is a photo on board. It's a little damaged. Some cute people. Look at the baby. Nine months. Say Fred Everhand, maybe is his name. Another cabinet photo, Danville, Illinois. Let's see if this one has a name. Has some, some stuff in the back of it. Wilson School, 1938. A newer photo, probably 60s. Another photo on board, probably 1890s to 1900. Edith Martin from Maine. Um... Uh, Women singing group. I don't know. don't know what that one is. Franklin Delano Roosevelt, latest picture director. Another, another photo. This one also has the name and the little boy's age. Dan, we're at 35 in the bed right now. Yep, and I'm still growing with adding more to the lots. I haven't seen this stuff either. Elephants to aid safety, someone said. So this one is a rough typed up letter on thin paper. Monthly report and promotion card. So this is like 1890s. That might go to that school photo. Okay, I'm going to grab a stack here. Okay, cabinet photo, Lancaster, Ohio. Photo of a girl in the snow. Another early photo. Here's the markings. Little boy in the chair. John Toller. Toller or John Fuller. It's one of the two. So this is a great lot of early photographs, photography. He looks like a very important business person. Thomas Saunders. Universalist minister Osbury Mass another photo on board also labeled with the person's name so if you do genealogy or any of those type of things Palace de Versailles so it's a real photo postcard another photo name information birth date weight all kinds of stuff on the back of that one Another family photo, cabinet photo on board. All the different names. 
are there. This is a amazing lot of early photos. Not sure what this picture is of, some kind of monument thing. Sanford, Maine. She actually looks pretty happy. That's her name, 1895. Bradbury. Boston. That's her name, Emily. There we go. Emily Jones, something like that. Oh, awesome. Out of Lee Heighton, and then you could probably look in the Portland, Maine area in the 1880s, 1890s, and figure out who she was. Kathy Bauer, 65. Cute little girl, kinda, kinda creepy though. I don't know. It's is it me or does that little girl look creepy? Mary and Christopher. Look at the little girl. Tell me if she doesn't look creepy. Jesse, somebody. Yeah. See, I'm not crazy. I'm a little weird, right? Crazy. Definitely early. This is like 1870s. They are in that 100. This guy. There's his name. Now she's cute. They're, you know, definitely sisters. 1903 has both of their names. Has all of their names and information on the back. These are 1890s. Mr. and Mrs. Geo Watson, Cava, Indiana. It says their cousin, their cousins' names, everything. That's pretty crazy. C. L. Mitchell was the photographer here. Robert Welburn. One son of Kathy Bauer. Also has all their information. <laughs> this one's very strange. Look, it has like a ghost image. Of maybe the mother in the background. It looks like they did it on purpose. That's very unusual for this early of a photo. They have a ghost image in the background. But look. I'm, I see it. I see it. No, you see it. <laughs> 120 with the eye, 130 with Kathy Bauer. Look at her hat. Look at these kids. Very, very well to do with all the minks and furs. Real photo postcard. Yeah, I wonder how they would their name. A double exposure. They would have they would have taken an, another photo in the background and then developed it and then developed over top of that development. Postcard, real photo postcard. Yeah, this is it's crazy. If that like, you know, this type of stuff is very specialized for resellers. So if you guys ever see this type of imagery where there's second shadowing or ghost images, they're usually done on purpose. But make Pam touch the ghost photo. <laughs> Pam, they want you to touch it. Just the tip of it. There you go. She touched the ghost photo. I'm not really scared of that stuff. <laughs> and then this is that lady. The unsinkable Molly Brown is who this looks like. I saw that movie. It says Ruby Crenshaw from 1900. I have to admit that was very creepy. Yeah, they used to do corpse photos. Yeah. But I don't know. They and then obviously, I would believe that this is African American little uh, African American girl, and maybe a friend from school. No, it says they're sisters. Okay. I don't know. They definitely do not look like sisters. This one's very pretty. She's very gorgeous. Looks like one of like the movie stars. Smoot Studios from South Milwaukee and Quarter Hay.
another old photo on board. If Pam tells me you guys are still bidding, I'm going to keep adding. 185 with J.I. Yes, they are still bidding. Okay. I'm going to keep adding. Here's the names of all the people. It's okay. She touched it with just the tip. This lady's kind of creepy, too. I don't know. This, this lady reminds me of, like, I don't know. Look, give her, like, a pointy hat and, like, a <laughs> witch's broom. I don't know. Don't bother me. I think it's the hair that does it for me on that one. <laughs> Some of these are cool. Look, this is Uncle John Vassar Vassar from Poughkeepsie, New York. Aunt Ida Stillwell. They make all kinds of haunted stuff. What? <laughs> Photographs Banger Main, person's name, their information. This looks to be military drills, World War One era. It's probably a military academy or officers training. Bauer, Clinton Avenue, Rochester, New York. Wilson Pyre. There is a ton of photos in this slot. And everything is identified. It's crazy. Oh, like 1880s to 1910-ish. John Dyer, that's the same guy in both of those. This guy looks for mayor. Who is he? Huh? Taylor's a good photographer. Sample. Square sample. I wonder if this is a famous person and they used it as a sample to show people. Very well off. You can tell she's very affluent. Her information's on the back. Wishing you a Merry Christmas, Lorna Meyer. So she had the photo done to give out as a Christmas gift. And I'm not going to say if this little boy or a little girl, but I have no clue. It's hard to tell, like, early photos because little boys wore dresses. 1907. Back. There's Nanny McPhee. 75 with Greg. James Kearns and family. Pam never behaves. Guys, as long as you bid, this lot will just keep getting bigger. I don't mind. Photos. More photos. It's an old, like, souvenir, small portrait type photo. It's a CDV Carta de Vist. Aunt Dress, Dress, Dressel Haas. Graduation photo. Another a bunch of little photos here. A kid with their puppy dog. Oh. Actually, adults are now wearing dresses. Uh, if you go to the Target page, you can see that. Little girls on the prairie dresses. Oh uh, yeah, that's it's called something. It's like um, oh, I don't remember. Like uh, Katie and Vicky were telling me, <laughs> and Rosie. Tommy Bernard sends you uh. Thank you, Tommy. <laughs> Tommy, someday I can grow. But cosmetic surgery is a lot worse for you. 
but thank you, Tommy. If you guys haven't checked out Tommy Bernard, he has a good talk show during the evenings, I believe three days a week, which is good fun to go hang out. It is adult oriented, so you know, make sure that if my jokes are too adult for you, then their jokes there probably may cross the line. But it is a ton of fun. It's a bunch of really good people. And they're making fun of me because I'm short. I'm just going to make Tommy stand next to Cody next time he's here. Because my, my son's almost six foot. J.W. Prouty. <laughs> no, no, no. I said we could win a three-legged race. If I'm so short, it wouldn't matter about my middle leg. <laughs> and here's where they play that with like the pole and the ribbons and the kids run around it i don't remember what that's called pam you used to play that when you were younger what what is that what i'm not that old oh yeah. <laughs> here's a real photo postcard it's john rockberg from washington ave chicago illinois maypole, maypole. Yeah, there you go. 1907 with lots of writing on the front Real photo postcard. Corey, this is their names. Cute little kids. Are we still bidding or am I just throwing in extra photos for whoever was live bidder? Oh, okay. The bidding has stopped. Because this other box is almost empty. So there's hundreds of photos. This is a huge lot. Yeah, you guys let Mama G know if you're done bidding because I'm just adding value. John Long. This one's really gorgeous. Pottsville, Pennsylvania. John and Sue Warner. Yeah, he looks like, um, what's the actor that I'm thinking of? Oh, uh, Matt Damon. Matt Damon. That's who he looks like. Looks like a young Matt Damon. Little Rock, Arkansas. Arthur Flemister. Flemister. Okay. Here's a double photo. David Barton and Nancy Barton, brother and sister. Well, we're down this far in the box. I might as well just finish this box off. I am not sure what that is. Oh, it's a little girl with a dog. <laughs> Doogie Hauser. MD. Uh, there's an envelope, so six copies. What this is? Oh, this is the original negative for a house, it looks like. Or a diner or something. No, it's an old house with a car. So, and then there's an article of something in there. Here is a early cutout. We're almost to the bottom of that tray. That Pam had made. There's their names, Esther and Robert Stilwell. Some of these people could have became famous or could have already been famous. Here's Christmas dinner, 1945, Emmaus, PA. I don't know who the people are, but it's some kind of a group, a fraternal order or something along those lines. Another 1909. Another photo. She's very pretty. Very interesting outfit. Newburgh, New York. This is Andre Smith. And that's all of it. That's everything out of that tray. 
I originally figured I'd be doing it in a couple lots, but eh, one big lot works just as good. Tons of identified photos. I'm going to include this because the collection was like from some photo find place. That's not true. I've we've sold photo albums for fifty dollars. Yes, Riker has bought a bunch of photo albums, and this lot's huge. I mean, there's probably two hundred photos in here. And Connie. Yep, hundred and fifty to two hundred photos in this lot. It's a lot. It's a huge group. No one wants. Showed there was like red dots. No, that would be rust. They're uh, generally like rust spots or foxing. Sure, hope it wasn't blood. I mean, that would explain the ghost image. Uh -oh. We're on a hundred dollar bill. <laughs> I'll bid again. <laughs> Congratulations. Are you going to bid an extra one fifty more if I throw a hundred dollar bill in? That is true. Kathy was was not at our auction um, for. A yeah. couple days, actually. Yeah. Congratulations, Kathy. Okay, this is going to be an awesome lot. Vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And they've never been taken off the cards, but the bubbles are lifting because this, this one's little cord thingy is coming through the side here because I can see it's the bubble itself is lifting from the card but very cool he talks as you pull that strip through his piece in the back <laughs> this I is right now. 1991 <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles talking Leonardo and then you have skateboarding Mike sidewalk sliding dudes so Michelangelo, this one is 1993 from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Both on the card, both of them are in the packages. What do you want to ah, 10 bucks. Cost us 12 to 15 to ship them, so. <laughs> Um, Brian's wife, Kim's doing those, but yes, we understand. She <laughs> understands how heavy they are. <laughs> yeah. It'll come to you probably in three boxes, Kyle, just so you know, it'll yeah. be in three boxes. UPS. It'll be UPS. She said. 35 with mountain man. Kyle, I just want to point out that, uh, the fact that my wife had to move those boxes means that I have to give her a back massage tonight. Thanks, Kyle. <laughs> And a slushy tomorrow. Yep. <laughs> wow. There goes all my profits. Pipsy was frugal monster. <laughs> like I said, the bubble's lifting a little bit on this one. <laughs> but if you notice, both of them are unpunched, which is kind of nice. This one has a crease in the top edge, but still very cool. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, look, you brought us back that sports lot that the person didn't pay for. Okay. Out. Anyone else? 
One more Chris Chatworth. He's sleeping. He's lurking. <laughs> I'm watching. <laughs> I told you he's lurking. I can feel his presence. <laughs> oh my goodness. 65 with tea cakes. <laughs> Flipping ain't easy. Came in at 65. Also, just a second later. So we're looking for 70. 70 with flipping ain't easy. <laughs> Message T and just ask her what time they what time they normally go on on Friday. It's like 12 normal. 12 to win. You can go on a little bit later. So we have 75 with tea cakes on the pair of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the cards. We have 80 with Big Sky Flipper. Now, somebody earlier mentioned Pokemon cards. And I just got a box. <laughs> Hi, Sugar Plum Fairy. <laughs> yes, I'm okay. Thank you. No, Greg, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are awesome. They're really good sellers when you can find them on the cards. So we have 85 with tea cakes. Looking for 90. So we're looking for 90 or better. And as always, shipping is included inside the United States. Big Sky's Flipper is in at $90. Congratulations. Thank you for making it in. Oh, that's cool. Chris Chatworth in at 90 No, he Big Sky in, Flipper beat him in. in a little late. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Chatworth in at 100 Benji. <laughs> Our timing is up in the air for tomorrow, but we will have an auction tomorrow. We just don't know exactly what time because we're going to figure it out with T and everybody. And maybe we'll just do a big co-op auction. We'll all do one big auction together somewhere. She said 12 EST. Okay. PM EST. Just say, Brahma, so should we go on at 2 or do they want to go 12 till 2 or what? I'll just call her afterward. No, I haven't seen KK. Is everything okay? So we have Chris Chatworth in at 100 Looking for 110 would be the next bid. $10 bids after 100 Oh, T, you're listening to me. Okay. She's probably listening. <laughs> so we have 110 with tea cakes. Next bid would be 120 Yes, Nikki, we're bidding on the turtles. Chris is out. Okay. So T is going to make some kind of executive decision and she's going to post it here onto either what time they're running or if we're just going to do one big conglomerate and bounce from channel to channel or what we'll do tomorrow, but we'll all be selling stuff at some point tomorrow. We all try to work together so that you guys don't have to watch multiple channels at the same time. So we have 110 with tea cakes looking for 120 or better. She's a he. Sorry. Did I say she? I thought I said tea. 
I'm not sure. <laughs> Big Sky Flipper's in at 120. We have 120 looking for 130. Cody wants to know if he can borrow your car when you get home. No. <laughs> well, he actually asked to borrow my car, but I thought it'd be funnier if we asked to borrow Kim's car because he's got the new one. He wants, he's got to go to Target for something after somebody gets home. I don't know what it is. No, he doesn't. Zora Sells is asking, who is the other channel? I'm always down for more auctions. Oh, auctions for you, Zora. So auctions for you, T has auctions, and I, T, who are you on with tomorrow, and are you on your channel, or are you on Donna's, or? No, she's on with Chris the Goose. She's on with Chris the Goose, but is it on her channel? That I don't know. T, let us know where you're at tomorrow. What channel? Yeah, that's uh, T's channel. So we're at Big Sky Flipper for 120. We're looking for 130 or better. Okay. Sure. Hey. <laughs> hey, Rhonda. It's like that, that commercial, the cricket commercial. Hi. <laughs> sold, sold, sold. Sold, sold, sold. Congratulations. Love finding vintage 80s carded action figures. Fun. Okay, so somebody said something about... Pokemons, so let's do Pokemons. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to be showing you guys, but Spencer's not here, so I guess that's a good thing for you guys. So these are Team Rocket. I know that by the R. And Brian Maroney's not here either. Maybe I shouldn't be selling Pokemon right now. So we're going to do a $10 start. Dark Machok. Abra, Squirtles, there's three Squirtle Turtles, Zubats, so that's 16 cards there. I believe this is going to be another 16 cards here. These are, he's registered, yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. And Jay and a twenty. Yep. Yep. Uh Latricia, if you're here, make sure that you just say uh sent registration. So if you're in lurking and you sent me a registration, make sure you just make a comment so we can give you a wrench. So there's 32 Team Rocket cards. Here's some more. So these are actually pretty early ones. And then here's more. So it's 32. It's 40. Here's 45 cards. Um, here's more cards. These are from some set that goes up to, I don't know. This is supposedly some kid's stuff. If 
I pass something that's really good, guys, just tell me like, hey, stop, or go back and show that one, because my Pokemon Kung Fu is very weak. So here's like another 50 or 60 cards. So here's a shiny one. It's so shiny. Slowbro hologram. And this one's a reverse hollow. I think that's what it's called whenever the card is shiny, but not the middle. Beep. Somebody blew their horn outside. Beep. That's to be 55. We already had a $50 bid. Yeah. Yeah, we have Marmac at 50, so we need 55. Can I see one of the sheets up close again? Uh, one of these? Sure. It's Team Rocket. Same thing at 55. I never know what I'm looking for in these things. And I'm supposed to be looking for first edition, and I know that I'm looking for shiny ones. Plus, there's another stack. We can play win or lose with this pile. Bunch more cards. It's probably eighty to a hundred cards here. Shane, Shane, I don't think Spencer's here, Kyle. Nope, no Spencer. No Brian Maroney. No Treasure Hustlers. Missing all of our Pokemon buyers. So somebody's going to get a steal. Hi, Donatello. I'm good. I'm here. She meant Donatella. Mm -hmm. You said Donatello. <laughs> That's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. <laughs> I got Ninja Turtle on screen. She just sold it. <laughs> Mark Johnson, that <laughs> Gosh, there's so many cards. So there's a bunch, bunch of cards. There's got to be a couple hundred cards there. Seventy-five with J and J. Timothy and here's your shiny ones. It's not working again. It's just being a turd. There we go. <laughs> 85 with Jay and Jay. Hi, Donatella. Hi, Carrie Turan. That's Kyle's little brother. Mm -hmm. Knowing you can have all the snow, Mama G. We don't need any more. Yeah. We're good. Timothy's in at 90. <laughs> Looking for 95. I said it's, it's a big stack. All the ones in the sleeves are all Team Rocket series. And then there's this stack and these couple foily ones. Yeah, 
And you guys are obviously going to get a great deal because our normal Pokemon buyers aren't here. Where goes out? So we're looking for 95 or better. <laughs> she doesn't want it either. Well, yeah, we got 27 inches. That's good for now. <laughs> Tea cakes is in at 100. Okay, you guys, you guys hit the magic number. That way, when Brian Maroney and Spencer come and they rewatch this, they're going to be like, oh, we should have been there. And they'll be like, yep. So here's like another 100 plus cards, I think. Yep, $10 increments. Mark, 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 Here's another 50 right there. I don't know about that. I want to go there. It's only in 78. We're done with colors. I need some warm and sun. We're at 125. Another 46, 27, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. So this is 104 right here. So that's 200, 240. It's probably at least 250, maybe more cards there. Um, it's a weight under four pounds. Four two parcels. No, it would just go priority. Are they out of the country? Tea cakes. Oh, tea cakes. Um, mm -hmm. This would be under four pounds. Yes. So this would ship by by first class if you're international. And if you're international, if you guys win something and you're international, just email me to remind me that you're international. So when I send you an invoice, I can include the difference between U.S. shipping and shipping to your country. In the U.S., shipping is included. The back of which? 135, uh, Obviously, here's at least another 50 cards. So this is a huge lot. <laughs> I mean, we're definitely over 300 cards in this lot. <laughs> Are we still supposed to get to know tomorrow, Kyle? Are we at $150 or more yet? We are at $155. Was $145 before him? Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay, this is the last of that lot that I bought of this lot here. Here is a Snorlax hologram card. There's the back of that one. So that one's a hologram. This one is a reverse hologram because it's shiny out here, but not in there. So there's another one. Here's a reverse hologram. Here's Deoxys, but this one has some creasing on it, I can see. So definitely played on that one. I'm just going to put that up there with the regular stuff. This one is a reverse hologram. Not sure. Oh, this is a reverse hologram Fleabee. Fleabeeb. Quilladon. So these are all hologram or reverse hologram down here. This one's a hologram Terrakionin. Terrakion. This is a reverse hologram, Melton, hologram, Kaluka, hologram, Rillaboom. This one's a good one, I think. 
Reverse Hollow of Zeronis. This is just a regular Mr. Mime. Reverse Hologram. Some trainer cards. Klefki. This is reverse hologram here. Another reverse hologram there. A La Latios EX shiny card. Here's Evie. That one's shiny all over. The whole card's got shiny on it. And Zoroark. That's all of the cards. That's everything I got in this group. It's 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. One with three inches. Uh, I may not be here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's what you're getting in this lot. All of these cards, there's probably 300, 350 cards. And this whole area down here is all the holograms and reverse holograms and foils and stuff. Snorlax, and everybody else. We may not be here tomorrow either. <laughs> I'll be here if we only get one or two inches. Not if it's leading you out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So we have 200 with Jim looking for 210 or better. <laughs> Donatella. So we're looking for 210 or better. And there's roughly 300 to 350 cards. There's a bunch of holograms and reverse holograms. Oh, I thought this all caught up. Awesome. One more. Tea Cakes, 210. 210. <laughs> you got it. Okay. We have 210 with Tea Cakes. Looking for 220. And somebody earlier said Pokemon cards are going to get hot again. Because I guess they're, they're promoting them on YouTube now. Like a $10,000 unopened pack or something like that coming up. So we're looking for 220 or better. Jim, just let us know if you're out. Why are you sneaking up behind me like that? <laughs> I'd have never known if you wouldn't have touched my butt. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Ghost in the photo. Jim is out. <laughs> I never know. I don't know what's... Well, I know, like, obviously the first edition Charizard is the only one that I know. That's the one I know is like the crazy money. People are getting a quarter of a million dollars for that card. I'm out here trying to sell a kidney, and they're like, ah, here, Charizard card, quarter of a million dollars. Mars out.
I still have that toy thing that you said was really cool. Hey, Kim, hand me that Frankenstein figure. Hey, don't touch my Frankenstein. <laughs> Does Sam DeBrain tell you what we got back from Amazon? What? A box Sally. Oh, I forgot to bring that in. Oh, yeah, the night right before Christmas. That. No, no, no. It's the gold coffin. I don't care. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. It's a free for all that comes back. <laughs> That's mine. Tim is bringing it for me tomorrow. <laughs> Pam will have to bid on it. I don't think so. <laughs> I have that thing on for like two seventy five. <laughs> <laughs> Are you two doing something on the side that I don't know about? I'm gonna start getting some photos or something out of this. Sold, sold, sold. Two ten of tea cakes. Sold, sold, sold. Okay, here's some here toy thing that Pam said was super cool. So super cool, Pam says. So this is some kind of a gift set, store display box. I don't know. It's interesting. So Amico collectors set. So I would think that this is like a like a little display, but it has all three of the Amico gas trucks in it from Scale Models, division of Joseph Ertl. And after our auction today, T, is it on your channel or is it on Donna's channel? Donatella, is it on your channel or is it on T's channel? They're going to be having an auction from 5 o'clock on. So Amico, gas and oil truck. So this is a complete set, all three cars. comes with the... Scale model has been authorized to produce limited of 2,000. They only made 2,000 of these of this bank. So it's number one in a set. So this must be number one, number two, and number three of the set. in there somehow. Stuck. Is it stuck on? There we go. So there's three trucks in this set. Uh, it's pretty heavy. They are cast iron or die cast metal. So let's do a $20 start on this. It is a large set, as you guys can see. And I'll include this, which is pretty rare. So I know you guys have the interwebs and can look. So this is like one of those bookshelf games. So 1989 Victory Games. It's not a like computer game. This is like those uh, like strategy games with like the big boards and all the little cardboard pieces that you would play. It is still sealed, kind of. The seal is breaking in certain areas, but it is. It's never been opened. It's called Fifth Fleet. So you get that as well. And I believe that is actually a really good piece. So it's very much like the bookcase games. So you get both of those items for your bid. Okay, we have Josh in at 40. I'm going to get the next lot ready. In front of me. I hear you guys planning something. Yep. <laughs> Plotting against me. Story of my life.
You hear that, guys? They're plotting. Plotting against me. Still yep, still auctioning. They're bidding on that thing that you put on the table and told me to sell. Oh. <laughs> yep, so we're at 55. We're at 60 with Dragon Smoke. See if you figure out what time we're starting or where we're starting at. Make sure you you post it for me because I already told everybody we're going to be doing an auction tomorrow. So let them know why we got 128 people watching so they know where to find auctions for you, T and Donatella, and me, Mr. Buys a Lot, and Chris the Goose, and I believe Flippin' Flamingos. I think we're all going to work together tomorrow and make some kind of big event, have some fun. I'll try to behave tomorrow so that I don't get them thumbs down. I'm going to try to give them just thumbs up. So we have Purple Lily in at 65. We're looking for 70. Like I said, I think this is actually a really good one. Monarch Avalon. Is so Avalon Games is the the game company I think is the name of the game company, but the cellophane's coming loose, but it is still factory sealed. Factory sealed and the big gift set of Ertl. Okay, we're at 65 of Lily. Nope, Rhonda, you guys can you guys can say anything you want to. I just noticed we got five thumbs down, so I wanted to make sure that we didn't get other people thumbs down because there's some people that get really upset about that. And then I'm here to have fun and have a good time and make money and get stuff out of the warehouse. So that's my goal. So Carl's in at 75 and I have thick skin. So, you know, like Tommy coming in and making jokes about how short I am. It doesn't bother me in the least bit. I go into Tommy's room and make, make jokes about him too. So it's fine. Short is fun size. Big Sky Flipper in at 85. So now we're looking for 90. I think somebody figured out what that other one was. Five thumbs down, child's play. <laughs> but, you know, we have a great community, you know, on the channels, a lot of resellers. Tommy, even though he's not as big of a reseller, he's more of a talk show host because he's funny. And he's got a good co-host with Tracy. Oh, there he is. See, Tommy came in. It's like, it's like Beetlejuice. Oh, I miss Janine Catchum's birthday. Janine, where are you at? Janine, should we sing happy birthday to you? Should we sing it to you like Marilyn Monroe? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Janine Ketchum, happy birthday to you. Ah, see, I sang to you. Carl Box in at 90. <laughs> I did, I sang, I sang for her, see? And look, I even got a thumbs down for it. This is why I don't sing. <laughs> so we have 90 with Carl looking for 95 or better big sky in at 95 <laughs> a female Marilyn Monroe <laughs> where's Farmer 
Farmer. Farmer, I tried to buy something from JJ's auction for you the other day. He had some, like, farm toys. But I didn't get them. Yeah, the Fifth Fleet game is like one of those bookshelf games, and it's still sealed. So Carl's in at 100. Okay, next bid would be 110. Thank you for your bid of 100, Carl. And after this lot, I've got some comic books for you guys. Comic books. So we're looking for 110. Oh, no worries, Farmer. Mark, no, we're not going to do the underground comics. Not yet. Throughout my car. I have $1,500 invested into those, or my friend wants me to pay him $1,500 for them. So I haven't decided yet if I'm buying them because it seems like a lot for 125 comics. T said your box is ready. T's got a box for you, farmer. I've met Robbie. Those are big shoes to fill. Farmer, your box is not ready for me yet. So we're at 110 with Big Sky looking for 120. So we are looking for 120. Carl said he's out. Thank you, Carl. I'm not going to ask why Farmer has a box to give it to you, Rhonda. Yeah, some of these actually have, like, they had stickers on the back of them of, like, $300 and $400. The hard part is to figure out which printing it is. That's That's where I don't know. <laughs> Carl's drinking. Okay, 110, the big sky flipper. Thank you. Big sky flipper for 110. Pam stepped away, so I'm taking care of that. She's getting ready to leave. She's yelling at her husband in there. I can hear her. Okay, congratulations, Big Sky Flipper. Those are actually very cool. The Amco one's really neat. Uh. Okay, so now, now you guys like comic books, and I haven't done any comic books yet, so let's do some comic books. Uh, $10 start. So ten dollars start, one million. Looks like the atom is in there. Hellblazers. So I got to try to figure out how to keep count and show. I'll just show it to you and I'll count. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, this one's neat, 13, 14, you leaving? Okay, I'll see you in the morning, 15, Paul Pope, 100%, 16, 17, 18, 
18, 19, 20, 21, 22. This is a uh, graphic novel. 23. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, Green Lantern, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, number one, 40, you guys know that's not all of them, 41, Angel and the Ape, 42, 43, 44, The Unwritten, it's actually a good story, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, Fables, 54, 55, Fables is good, 56, 57, 58, 59, 100-page Monster Avengers, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. 72 comics in the slot. Let's see where we're at. So 72 comics. We're at 25 with Don. Kyle. I ran out of fingers a long time ago, Kyle. We're at 35 with Kyle Ullman. Can I see the 100-page Avengers again? Um, sure. 100-page Avengers. This one? Number 27. So we have Nikki in at 50. Kyle, you have comics coming from me too, I think. We have Nikki in at 60. Timothy came in just a second late. So we have Nikki. Uh, actually, Nikki, you're in at 60. You came in before Timothy did. So we have Nikki in at 60. Have you in first at 60, I think. Unless I'm missing somebody else. Nope. Yeah, have, have you in first, Nikki. Timothy's in at 70. Okay, Don is out. So we have Timothy in at 70. Nikki's in at 75. Honey, you want to grab me another small stack of comics over there? Just so I can add it to the slot and make 100 comics. This slot's going to have 100 comic books in it, guys. Right there in the comic boxes. Yeah. I need 28 more. So my wife's going to grab 28 comics, and there's going to be 28 more comic books to go to this lot. 
That way you get a hundred comic books in all. So we are at 85 with Kyle. We're at 90 with Max. Carl is in at 100. Okay. Kim just gave me the other 28 to make 100 comics. Ooh, Wonder Woman died. Can you hand me one more? This one's a little rougher. Okay. I'm going to give that one to you guys, but I'm going to add another one in just because it, it's a little more a little rougher in condition. There's the other one. Nightwing 2. Blackest Night number one, first issue. Power Girl. So you're getting at least 100 books. In this lot. This one's actually a graphic novel, thicker, square bound. Number one, JLA, year one. Number one, JLA. And Prometheus, number one. So we have Timothy in at 120, Nikki's in at 130, Max is in at 140, Nikki is in at 150. We have 150 with Nikki, looking for 160 or better. We have 160 with Kyle. See those final crisis ones. Sorry. This is crisis times five. Oh, these ones. Final Crisis. Here we go. Rogue's Revenge, number three of three. Legion of Three Worlds, number three of five. I think that was all of those, right? So Nikki in at 170. Timothy is out. So we have 170 with Nikki. We're looking for 180 or better. And we do appreciate everybody being here today and hanging out with us. And make sure in the morning you guys check. And we will be with auctions for you. And everything will figuring out what time we're going to be selling tomorrow. If we're going to be selling on our page, on her page, we're going to alternate back and forth. <laughs> Ronnie. Okay. I think we're going to start counting it down. Going twice. So just so everybody knows, we will be auctioning tomorrow. I just don't know the exact time or place yet. We're going to figure it out with auctions for you with T and a few of those other people. And we're going to do some kind of collab or whatnot. We'll figure it out tomorrow. Uh, check my community page. I will put it up in, in there tomorrow. So make sure you guys have our bell notification on 
and then check my community page tomorrow around 10 a.m. to see where we're going to be at at what time. But we definitely will be selling some stuff tomorrow. And thank you, everybody, for your bids. Picky Nikki won that lot. Congratulations, Nikki. There we go. 170 to Nikki. And I will get some stuff together for tomorrow's auction. If there's anything you guys want to see specifically. Oh, Pam's leg's better. She just fell yesterday on the ice. And, you know, when we asked the building owners, like, hey, should we fill out a thing? Have you polished your Silver Surfer yet? Not lately. So we're going to have an auction tomorrow. Carl, are you asking for another lot of comic books? Is that what Carl's asking for? Carl, I'm actually going to make this. This was the last lot, guys. Um, tomorrow we will be selling, though. I will make some comic lots up for tomorrow, if that sounds good to everybody. And we do appreciate everybody being here. Please hit that thumbs up on your way out. And again, make sure you share out the channel. We're going to keep doing these awesome auctions. I got warehouses full of stuff, and I buy. I just bought a huge Star Wars collection, uh, vintage and newer, uh, original 1977 carded figures, stuff like that. So we're going to have lots of great stuff, and we sell everything. So everybody have a great night. Janine, happy belated birthday, hon. Sorry about singing to you. Sorry, everybody who wasn't happy about that, but had to do it. So thank you, everybody, and then tomorrow we will be up and running at some point auctioning off cool stuff. I will make sure that there are some eh, buttons for sale. Please auction. Okay, Jay, I'll see if I can get some buttons up. I mean like the pinback buttons like what we did for the wholesale lots? Jay, I check out my wholesale video. I have uh, wholesale lots of 600 character buttons for $200 shipped. So you guys might want to check that out too. So everybody have a great night. Thank you so much. We're going to go home and get some dinner. Everything has been shipped that was paid for from last week. Oh, like military buttons. Gotcha. Uh, I don't think I have any military that I know of. I will bring something military tomorrow. But everybody head over to auctions for you at 5 o'clock. She's going to have awesome stuff. So... Uh-oh. I don't want no more snow. Oh, Tony, look up. Um, so on my channel, just look up Wholesale Deals. So it's a video that I put out about a week ago or a week and a half ago. So it has movie posters, pinback buttons. Yep, Wholesale Lots. Movie posters, pinback buttons, and print ads. Those are what's available in those lots. They include shipping. And they are good size lots. So check out that video. Watch it all the way through. Check some stuff. Mama G is going to go potty and grab a snack. And we will see everybody over at T's Auction. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for being here.